after returning from the army. He lost everything and didn't know how to live until one day he met them. Enlisting in the military and dedicating one's life to the service of the country is a decision that requires careful consideration. These brave men and women often have to leave their entire lives behind, families, friends, not knowing when they'll see them again. Some, upon finally returning home, face the great sorrow that so much time has passed, that no one is waiting for them anymore. This is the case in the first story today, the story with which we begin. This story takes place many years ago in the United States. It's the story of Peter Lee, a 20-year-old young man who lived alone with his mother. As his father was never present in his life, they had to manage on their own, creating a beautiful mother-son relationship. Peter helped his mother with everything, and even had to work from a young age to cover the household expenses. Both lived honestly, and the young man even managed to find a girlfriend, whom he saw in his free time. They were a young couple with a bright future, something that made Peter's mother happy. But destiny had other plans in store. Peter's mother fell ill, preventing her from working, and leaving Peter responsible for all the household expenses, including the cost of her medication. This proved to be too much for the young man who barely earned enough to make a living. However, he loved his mother and wouldn't allow her to go without medicine. So, he did the only thing he could at that moment to generate more income. He joined the army. At first, Peter thought it would be a simple task. He believed he would be there long enough to pay for his mother's medications. Until she recovered, and everything would return to normal. He would see his girlfriend again and live happily with his mother. Unfortunately, fate had a different plan. Peter was sent to one of the many wars the country was involved in. Far away from his home. What was initially supposed to be a few months turned into years with no possibility of returning. The young man cried silently at night. Missing his mother and girlfriend. To whom he kept sending letters to let them know he was okay. Peter's mother had tried to convince him not to join the army, assuring him that they would somehow manage to afford the medication. But deep down, she knew that wasn't true and couldn't do anything to stop him. She was content knowing her son was okay. But she never conveyed in her letters that the illness was progressing. And the medications Peter sent were no longer effective. Tragically, the news of his mother's passing reached Peter months later. He felt devastated by the loss of the person he loved the most in the world. Adding to his grief. His girlfriend had stopped responding to his letters long ago. His comrades had told him that she probably got tired of waiting. And found someone else. Which wasn't far from the truth. After fulfilling his duty and witnessing things no one should witness in their life. Peter, now 26 years old returned home to find that it was no longer a home, he had nothing left. He fell into depression, feeling that his life had lost its purpose. One day, he remembered that one of his dearest comrades in the army had said, he longed to return home to visit the forest, where he used to play as a child and feel the breeze of nature. As it brought him peace, Peter decided to follow his friend's example in the hope of finding some peace that he knew he needed. So, early one Saturday morning, he set out to camp in a forest near his hometown. He didn't take long to arrive at the place. And as soon as he could feel the peace his friend had spoken about, the clean, fresh air, the sound of trees and birds, Peter experienced a moment of tranquility, where he could forget all his problems. The scene around him lifted his spirits, and for a moment, he found solace in nature. After witnessing it, he decided to explore the forest a little to see what else it had to offer. After a while, Peter noticed something that caught his attention. Under the shade of a tree, with a look of sadness, was a female lynx with her cub. 
a small lynx that bore little resemblance to a common city cat. The reason for her sadness became clear to him. The lynx mother had an injured leg. Not too severe, but bleeding. Apparently, she had cut herself with some glass left by an irresponsible human. When Peter approached to try to help, the mother immediately went on guard to defend her cup. It was evident that she didn't get along well with humans. Perhaps due to bad experiences in the past. Nevertheless, Peter didn't give up and, with a relaxed body language, let them know he had no intentions of harming them, on the contrary. He wanted to help. The young man took out some first aid supplies from his backpack. Something he had learned during his time in the war. And began to tend to the mother's injured leg. She didn't. Resist, perhaps some instinct in her made her trust this man. Peter then took out some food from his bag. And sat down to share it with this little family. Who showed immense gratitude in their eyes. After eating. Peter started playing with both of them and petted them. After all he had been through. It was a blessing to enjoy such a beautiful moment. Peter spent three days camping in the forest with his new little family. And they didn't leave his side. These three days were the best he had lived in years. And when he knew it was time to return home. An immense sadness overwhelmed him. He couldn't imagine going back to the solitude of a house where his thoughts would not give him a moment of peace. He made the decision to adopt these lynxes. Some might think Peter's decision was somewhat selfish, as it's not recommended to take these animals away from their habitat. But he truly needed them. And they seem to have grown fond of him as well. So, without further thought, he took them home with him. The adaptation was challenging during the first few weeks. But it was worth it. This mother and her cub would never lack food again. Never go hungry or face the harsh challenges nature sometimes presented. They could sleep under a roof. Protected from the rain, without fear of being stalked by another predator. While Peter would now have two beings always waiting for him at home. Filling his life with love and companionship. Over the years. Peter managed to overcome his traumas with professional help. And the help of his lynxes. This family gave him a new sense of life. And he now had two great reasons to keep living. This story demonstrates the beautiful bond that. Can form between humans and animals. Another similar story happens in the United States. Showing us that our pets love us much more than we sometimes think. When we spend time away from them. They notice and feel sad about our absence. That's why reunions with animals are always so emotional. Recently, a video of an American soldier returning home after three years went viral. The soldier's father recorded the reunion with the family dog. Marfil. At first, the dog doesn't seem to recognize the soldier. Approaching and then moving away, even barking. But when they bring her closer to the soldier, the dog finally recognizes her and becomes overjoyed. The soldier said. I thought about Marfil every day while I was away from home. I missed him more than my family because I was sure. He didn't know if I would ever come back. When he didn't recognize me at first. It was tough, but when he realized it was me. It was one of the happiest moments of my life. The soldier loves Marfil more than anything. And the happiest moment of her life was when he finally recognized her. This was the video of the day. And now it's your turn to answer these questions. What do you think of Peter's decision to take this lynx family out of their habitat? Did you know that our pets notice? And feel sad when we spend time away from them? What do you think of Marfil's reaction when seeing her owner again? For a child who is powerless and immature. Getting lost is a very dangerous thing. The little girl is separated from her parents. She walks in the snow, cold and fear wrapped her. Just then, a wolf appears near the girl. And then the wolf's behavior shocked everyone. There are always a lot of incredible things in our lives. 
maybe you simply made a phone call. And a miracle broke out right now. Some people say that if you believe in miracles, miracles will happen. Some people think that miracles need to be fought for. Some people pray for miracles, and some work for good karma. However, there is a view that everyone agrees that. Miracles often happen when you least expect them to. And only afterwards do people really realize it. And a girl named Elizabeth encountered a miracle unforgettable in this life. The story takes place in 1998. The protagonist of the story is a 16-year-old girl. Elizabeth was born into a family with ordinary financial conditions. But she was satisfied because she had loving parents. When Elizabeth was young, her parents worked in the city. Although the big city earned more money, it also spent a lot of money. And as the daughter grows up, the room rented in the city is too crowded for a family of three. But it is impossible for them to spend a lot of money to rent or buy a big house in the city. Elizabeth's parents then discussed how to solve this dilemma. At the same time, the external economic depression is also affecting these workers. Elizabeth's parents are also facing a cruel environment of layoffs. After several considerations, the couple decided to move their family to a remote village to escape the plight of the city. Elizabeth's parents sold everything they could and they bought themselves a small but comfortable house in the suburban forest. The reason why the couple chose the address of the house here is not without consideration. Apart from the cheap price, the most important thing is that both of them have rich experience in farming, and they intend to run their own small-scale farming business in this place close to nature. In just a few years, they achieved the expected scale they raised a lot of cattle and made a lot of money. As a result, the quality of life of the family was significantly improved. The couple are glad that they made the choice to move. And now their daughter, Elizabeth, is in her third year of high school at the local high school. And her future has become an issue that needs to be carefully considered. Now that their family had enough money for education to provide Elizabeth with the best education, the couple thought Elizabeth deserved a better education. They flatly opposed Elizabeth's spending. Her most struggling time in this remote and wilderness place. And insisted that she be admitted to City University. So, after graduation, her parents sent Elizabeth to the city. After her first semester of study in that city. Elizabeth decided to go on holiday with her family. Her parents had already hitchhiked to the station at this time. If Elizabeth took the road, she had to keep her parents waiting for a long time. So she decided to go through the forest to save time. You know, Elizabeth grew up in the city when she was young, and although her family later moved to the village, Elizabeth herself only lived in the village for a short time. So she had never been alone in the forest before. Elizabeth was afraid to go to the forest alone. But now after living independently in the city. She is full of confidence in herself. She believes that she will be able to make it through the forest. And meet her parents immediately. Elizabeth was so happy that she hadn't seen her parents for a while. She wanted to give each of them a hug. And tell them all kinds of interesting things. She had encountered when she lived alone in the city. She can't wait to share everything about herself. Elizabeth walked in the forest for a long time. And she did not immediately realize that she had lost her way. Until the sun began to set and the forest became noticeably quiet and cold. She realized that she seemed to be going in circles and was in a panic. She kept looking for a way out. But couldn't find a familiar place at all. Elizabeth, tired and hungry sat by a broken tree and cried bitterly. She couldn't even wait for help. And no one would find her. Because she hadn't told her parents she was coming. Because she wanted to surprise them. All the poor girl could do was hope and pray. The girl closed her eyes and prayed and didn't know who she was praying.
Then she heard some creature breathing very close to her. Elizabeth opened her eyes and saw a big greyhound wagging its tail. In fact, it was not a big black dog. It was a wolf. Elizabeth also responded quickly. Because the animal was very large. And the animals that looked like dogs in the forest could only be wolves. For a girl who has graduated from high school. How is it possible not to know what wolves mean? They are ferocious predators. And Elizabeth is likely to be his midday meal. Elizabeth was very scared at first. But then she realized that the wolf was not going to attack her. On the contrary. He was very friendly. Elizabeth remembered that. She had packed two sausages on the way to bring them to her parents. So Elizabeth took the sausage out of her bag and threw it to the wolf. The wolf picked up the sausage with satisfaction and soon disappeared into the bushes. After the wolf disappeared, Elizabeth was alone again. She was very tired now. She wanted to rest. Only when she regained her strength could she find a way out of the forest. She sat in a broken tree and dozed. And when she woke up, she found something licking her hand. The same gray wolf. Sitting next to Elizabeth waiting for Elizabeth to get up. Then it ran a short distance, and then stopped to look back. As if beckoning the girl to follow, Elizabeth quickly picked up her bag and went in the direction of the wolf. She never thought that one day she would go with a wolf. On the way, sometimes the wolf would run. And it would be difficult for the girl to keep up. And then the wolf would slow down and wait for Elizabeth to approach. Elizabeth followed the wolf for about an hour feeling exhausted. She did not notice that the forest had become sparse. And there were some voices. Elizabeth heard those voices. And she was so happy that she rushed to the front. I forgot the gray wolf for a moment. When she appeared in front of everyone. The villagers breathed a sigh of relief. Elizabeth's house was very close to here. I heard that Elizabeth had returned from the city and her father arrived home at the first time. However, the parents who arrived at home did not wait until their daughter's arrival. They were so worried that they mobilized the villagers to help with the search until they saw Elizabeth coming out of the forest. Elizabeth explained to her parents what had just happened. And everyone was afraid of her. Especially when Elizabeth talked about the wolf. But at last they were shocked to hear that the wolf had brought Elizabeth home. People are curious. Why would the wolf do this? An old woman said that she knew what kind of wolf it was. It was the spirit of the forest. Protecting misguided travelers. It would take good people to safety and let evil people get lost in the forest. Although it sounds like a legend. The beauty in it is still touching.